Tasha, about to call them in. And that's it, they're off and racing for Division 2 of the Five-Year-Old Geldings Maiden, sponsored by Cavan Developments at the 2021 Kildare Hunt point-to-point -point races. They head to the first of 13 fences with Neon Knights right up there in the early stages with Kate's Bridge. And they're right up in company with Dublin Calling, who put in a nice jump there at number one, and they all managed to scramble over it safely. So the field now make their way out of the back straight to the second fence. It's a steady tempo through the first furlong and a half and Neon Lights leads from Dublin Calling. Sitting in third place is Kate's Bridge. Then we've got Champagne Gift, who races on the outside of the Dacia Man. Further back in the field in about sixth place with his head bowed to the ground there is Daring Rocco. After that one, giving that fence loads of air was San Miguel, who is in about seventh place, the runner from Peter Mara's team. He in turn is followed by Pawdy, and then the three who are anchored at the rear of the field in the early stages include Access Granted. Are you there yet with the tail ender at the moment, the Mondag runner, which is Water Break. They've all got over those uh, first couple of fences safely and now head up to fence number three, and still in front here is Neon Lights at this third fence. He'll take it about two lengths in front from Dublin Calling. And then we got three in line for the third, which are Champagne Gift. Down the inside in the fence is Kate's Bridge. And between those two, up there disputing the third position is the Dacia Man. Then back to in sixth place to find John Barry partnering Daring Rocco. After that one, we've got San Miguel and Owen Shaw. And towards the tail end of the field, and the first six or seven pearls of this contest, we've got the likes of Pawdy, Access Granted, Are We There Yet? And the back marker remains Water Break. So the field wheel out now to this fence on the side, and that's Neon Lights, who's in front by just over a length and a bit. From in second place is Dublin Calling, Pat King, riding this one for the Pat Doyle team. Then we got one of the Northern Raiders in this field on the inside, that's Kate's Bridge for Brian Hamilton's team, followed by the Dacia Man. After this quartet, then there's a couple of lengths to Champagne Gift, and then Daring Rocco, back to midfield to find San Miguel, and he in turn is followed by the second of the northern runners in the field, which is Pawdy, the Mount of Noel McParlin. After that one, we've got uh, on its inside access granted in the pink silks, and the two back markers at the moment, but jumping that one nicely, second last was Are We There Yet? With the tail ender anchored all the time at the rear, that's water break. So going along now to the second of the two fences down here, and a bit of a maneuver there on the outside. The Dacia man has been brought up now to challenge for the lead, but it was out jumped by Neon Lights. So Neon Lights gets away from that fence in front once again. From in second place is Kate's Bridge, and then Dublin Calling, and the Dacia man who's taking a bit of a tug here. After this one in fifth place, we have got. Uh, the son of Shiroko Daring Rocco. He in turn is tracked then by Champagne Gift. So after a mile and a bit in this contest, they come now to this next fence, which is seven from the finish. And Neon Lights is moving along stylishly in front from in second place, Dublin Calling, who is another one who has settled very nicely for Pa King. Up on the outside is the Dacia Man, and then in a pocket on the inside, sitting pretty at the moment, if good enough, is Kate's Bridge. Back then to fifth for uh, the Chestnut Daring Rocco, and then we've got Champagne Gift, making a place or two towards midfield. There is Pawdy. So now to this fence, six from the finish, Neon Lights, with a half-length advantage as he takes off with this one from Dublin Calling, who put in a beautiful leap in second. Third place in the red jacket, that is the Dacia Man, and then we've got Kate's Bridge, who's fourth, but only two and a half lengths down, a further two lengths after this one. Two in fifth place is Daring Rocco, and then we have got Champagne Gift, followed by Pawdy Access Granted. Next up in the field is San Miguel, two back markers, as they have been since the fall of the flag, are Are We There Yet? and Water Break. So we started out with a field of 11 and they're all still standing as they enter the final mile now with five more fences to jump. Neon Lights and Dublin Calling, these two just in front from out deep on the track in third position, that's the Dacia Man. All the while, 
Michael O'Sullivan is happy to get a nice trail there in fourth place on Kate's Bridge, and he in turn is tracked in fifth position by Daring Rocco. And then Champagne Gift is followed by Access Granted and Pawdy. So out over that one, and Neon Lights is possibly headed now in the center there by Dublin Calling and on the wide outside, it's the De Chaman. So as they face into the first of the two fences down the back straight, these are the fourth and third last. And away from that fourth last fence is the De Chaman in the noseband just in front now as the tempo lifts. From on the inside, Neon Lights, Dublin Calling is right there in between horses and there's a six length break then to Kate's Bridge who's just getting shaken along followed by uh, Daring Rocco and then Pawdy Access Granted and then trying to make some late ground from the back of the field is Water Break. But the three in front are going pretty strongly now as they head to the second last. And that's the De Chaman, just about in front here, half a length of the good from Neon Lights, pumped along now in third place is Dublin Calling. In behind these, Pawdy's making ground for Noel McParland to loom on the scene into a close uh, fourth. And then uh, in behind these, Kate's Bridge was a faller at the second last, as coming under pressure in fifth is Daring Rocco, but as they head for home with one to jump. And that's the De Chaman in front, half a length is his advantage from driven in second place is Dublin Calling and Dublin Calling now puts on the indicator hits the front it's Dublin Calling going on into second Pawdy runs on past the Dacia man and then in fourth place is the long time leader Neon Knights but Dublin Calling leads but Pawdy is trying hard to peg him back as they come to the final fence Dublin Calling Pawdy has more momentum away from the fence and Noel McParlin comes through to lead it's uh, on the far side Dublin Calling getting a second win as they go to the finish and he's coming back to take it Dublin Calling was headed on the run-in but fought back to see off Pawdy and these two were clear from then back in the uh, third position and never nearer San Miguel. Nice performance of that one from Peter Mars Horse in his debut followed by Neon Lights and after those fifth and sixth places were bagged by Daring Rocco and the De Chaman.
So we have a result for our second division of the second race, kindly sponsored by Cavan Developments, the Signal Perpetual Cup. So thank you again to our sponsor, Cavan Developments. Apologies. So we have the results for the second division of the second race, kindly sponsored by Cavan Developments, the Signal Perpetual Cup, the maiden race for five-year-old geldings. So the results are 25, 39, 41, and 12, and the distances 2, 4, and 3. And the winner is all right. The winner is all right for this, the second division of the second race, kindly sponsored by Cabin Developments. Thank you very much. The declarations for our last race, the sixth race, will be closing in five minutes. So the declarations for 